lot of you guys had requested me to do some more hair tutorials so I decided to do kind of like a holiday inspired um, kind of like a party look Christmassy or not Christmassy just like a holiday kind of hair tutorial using a headband and just kind of like curls lots of volume kind of like back combed the top lots of um, body and I think this is really fun if you especially if you want to go out for New Year's or something if you're going to a club so yeah I used the Enso Milano for this this is the Enso Milano one inch clipless curling iron um, this is one from Beauty Choice I'll have a link for it on the side if you want to purchase this iron um, I'll show you how to get this hairstyle and I think it's really fun. I think it's perfect for the holidays or for partying or special events, things like that. So if you want to see how to do it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to take my Enzo Milano and just curl it up. You can use the heat glove if you're not, you know, familiar with using these kind of irons. But um, I've used mine pretty fre frequently, so I don't need to use the glove anymore. Alright, now the bottom, I'm going to just quickly roll it up, just onto like one of those velcro rollers. If you have those um, pins, which I don't have, I need to get some, that would obviously be really helpful. I don't have any, so I'm going to have to use annoying bobby pins just to kind of keep them in place, but you can use those, like, you know those clips that you can get? All right, so you're just gonna keep doing that on the bottom layer. All right, so I've done the sides now. <laughs> Sorry, this looks kind of funny. Um, I've done the sides, so now the top I'm gonna do slightly different. I'm going to kind of divide it into three sections, just really big sections, and you're just going to kind of roll that, the whole thing on. And you're going to have to hold this for a while just because it is such like a big chunk of hair. And um, I just want like mostly volume in this. So I'm rolling this kind of backwards. Now if you have bigger rollers, it would probably work better. I only have one size. I'm going to actually try and get some bigger ones for kind of more diverse curls. But then you just want to quickly, while the hair is still hot, just take it and just roll it onto that roller. And then just pin it down. So this is kind of more to give like lift and volume, but as you can see these rollers are actually too small from the side, like they're, they need to actually be bigger, but I don't have any other ones so I'll have to use those. So then I'm going to take sort of the next section and you can kind of leave the bangs out. We can work with those a bit later. Alright, and then you just want to roll that over your curling iron. This is kind of where maybe the clip ones are a bit better. But this this iron is pretty, like you can do lots of diverse things with it, so you can totally still do it for this as well, but um, the clip one might just be maybe a little bit easier to use for these kinds of curls. All right, that's about good. While it's still really hot, you just wanna quickly roll that up. And just pin it down so I'm rolling it kind of backwards like this all right now I'm gonna leave the bangs or the side like if you, I have kind of like a side slip fringe or bangs <laughs> I'm gonna just leave those out and um, this one I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it I think I'm gonna roll it away from my face like this and just get one more roller in there so then once you have pinned all your rolls down um, you just want to give it adequate time to cool just so they really set in place and stuff um, so I'm going to give this maybe about 20 minutes or something or 15 minutes something like that to cool it down and then I'll be right back okay so once it's all cooled off you just want to gently um, take them out take out all the rollers now that sound is just the velcro it's not like damaging my hair or anything it's just pulling out the rollers Okay, so then you want to get your headband in place. Um, this one is by H&M. Okay, so that was a little bit of a pain, just because I think this I think this headband is just a little bit too small for me. But um, it doesn't matter. I just basically 
pulled out the tops of the bangs here or the fringe and a little bit on the side and the rest is back. Then you want to just take um, a teasing comb and I'm not really going to comb out the hair, I'm just going to start teasing the back here like crazy because that's the part that I really want lots of volume. And you can use like a little bit of hairspray just to kind of hold that bump up there. So it's kind of just going to look like you have like a lot of volume back there. Okay, now if you have any kind of individual strands that you want to curl a bit more, you can just go ahead and just use that, um, that curling iron again. Oops. And you can just work on little individual pieces. This is kind of going to give it like the final touch. Alright, so as the final touch, I just added my little disco ball earrings and then that is pretty much it so hopefully you can see it I mean you can curl the bangs too but I just feel like it's enough like that lots of volume lots of body so that's the final look hope you guys can see that and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial try it out you can get this headband well I personally got this headband at H&M it has little sparkly things on it I don't know if it really shows up that well in camera but I hope you enjoyed that look and I will see you guys soon take care bye god this looks so freaky it look like Medusa <laughs> like these things are so weird over ah, over the top. Oh, this one's a little bit tight, so that's why I'm having a little bit of problems with it. I think it's a little bit too small for my head, but...